Now, uh, I did promise pros and cons, so <laughs> I don't want us to get carried away. Micro workouts are not a magic pill, okay? They won't magically transform you into a bodybuilder or a marathon runner overnight, okay? So Bodyholic with D, your one-stop shop for science-backed well-being breakthroughs. Forget the fads, ditch the myths. We are here to get you on the fast track to feeling and looking fantastic. So get ready to dive deep into the real deal on your health, happiness, and everything in between. Let's go. Welcome back to Bodyholic with D. This is the podcast that keeps you on the cutting edge of health and fitness. And I'm D. And today we are going to delve into the fascinating world of micro workouts. Those of you who train with me know I love them. These are basically bite-sized exercise bursts that promise their promise is to sculpt your physique even with a jam-packed schedule. So um, there was an email that was sent to me asking about this, and I want to really answer. We're not going to just skim the surface here. We're going to dive into the scientific research. We're going to weigh out the pros and the cons, and we're even going to uncover how micro workouts can benefit specific populations. So get comfortable, grab a water bottle, and let's really get into it. Some of you might even find it kind of enlightening to hear about the science behind this, what I think is quite an awesome fitness phenomenon. Okay, so can a few minutes of exercise truly rival a traditional sweat-drenched gym session? The science behind micro-workouts is surprisingly robust, so get ready for this. There was a groundbreaking study published in the prestigious journal Plus One in 2016. They compared the effects of sprint interval training, SIT, which is a form of micro workouts, to traditional moderate intensity continuous training, M-I-C-T, on cardiovascular health. The results? Both groups showed significant improvements in VO2 max, which is a key measure of cardiovascular fitness. But the SIT group achieved these gains in half of the time. That is correct. You heard me correctly. Shorter workouts led to similar results, which is, this is big. And the evidence doesn't even stop there. There was a a beautiful meta-analysis that was done in the British Journal of Sports Medicine in 2019. What they did was they analyzed, they went through 90 studies, they all studied high-intensity interval training, and the meta-analysis concluded that it's a time-efficient way to improve cardiorespiratory fitness, even in individuals with chronic diseases like heart failure and like type 2 diabetes. Super important. So it's not only um, that it's time efficient, but it's beneficial when you have certain conditions. We can get into that a little bit later. But I want to get into what the secret sauce is, okay? The secret sauce behind these mini workouts lies in their ability to trigger EPIC or excess post-exercise oxygen consumption. Uh, This is basically uh, your body's after party, okay, where it continues to burn calories at an elevated rate even after you finished exercising. So micro workouts with their high intensity bursts crank up the epic effect and they ensure that you continue to torch calories long after you've cooled down. There was a study in the Journal of Sports Sciences back in 2011, and they found that high-intensity interval training workouts can elevate your metabolic rate for up to 24 hours after exercise. So that 
it's actually leads to significant calorie burning, even when you're just chilling and when you're completely at rest. But um, the benefits of the micro workouts also go beyond the physical fitness. And I, I have to say, I have to say that I really see this with myself. Like I can compare a day where I don't do one of my short, intense workouts in the morning and a day where I do. It's true. So the research backs me up. It suggests that they can also be a boon for your mental well-being. There was a review article in the journal Frontiers in Psychology back in 2018 that they concluded that even a single bout of exercise can improve mood and reduce anxiety with effects that are lasting for several hours. And another study published in the journal Brain Research in 2014 showed that even regular exercise even in short bursts, can lead to improvements in cognitive function. Okay, so even the short bursts improve cognitive function, which includes memory and attention span, and even the ability to focus, the actual attention. Now, uh, I did promise pros and cons, so <laughs> I don't want us to get carried away. Micro workouts are not a magic pill, okay? They won't magically transform you into a bodybuilder or a marathon runner overnight, okay? So if your primary goal is to build significant muscle mass or one long distance, micro workouts alone won't cut it, all right? I'm gonna, we've gotta be honest here and we've gotta really understand this. You will need to incorporate a mix of training modalities to achieve those very specific goals. So that, that's one important reality check I just want to put out there. But, uh, and, and here's where things do get pretty interesting. Micro workouts have shown tremendous promise for specific populations who might struggle with traditional exercise routines. And what, we, what has been discovered is that for older adults who may have limited mobility or health concerns, micro workouts offer a safe and effective way to stay active and improve their quality of life. A uh, study in the Journal of American Geriatric Society, 2019, found that a six-week program of home-based micro-workouts, it really improved physical function and quality of life in older adults. Super important. Beside the older adults, there are people with chronic pain conditions, okay? Short bursts of exercise can be less intimidating and may even help manage pain levels. A systematic review in the Journal of Pain Research in 2017 concluded that exercise, including low volume, high intensity, exercise can be effective in reducing pain and improving physical function in people with chronic pain. Okay. This, this is super huge. And, and of course, you know, let's get back to something that we've already mentioned for busy professionals struggling to find time to go to the gym, micro workouts, can actually be a lifesaver. And I find this to be absolutely true for myself. Allowing these super hyper busy professionals to squeeze in the exercise during their lunch break, between meetings, first thing in the morning. And, and then of course, with any exercise program, it's super, 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 super crucial to listen to your body and progress gradually. Okay, especially, you know, we're talking about different conditions. The high intensity nature of micro workouts can 
put stress on your joints. It can put stress on your muscles. And if you're new to exercise or if you have any underlying health conditions, it's always a good idea, please, to check with your doc doctor. Check with your doctor before starting a new routine, please. Okay. So I guess the verdict is in, all right? Micro workouts are a powerful tool to add to your fitness toolkit. They are time efficient and they are effective and accessible to people of all fitness levels and abilities. The science backs it up and the potential benefits are just absolutely undeniable. So the next time you're feeling overwhelmed and super short on time, I want you to remember, okay, this is the key takeaway that even a few minutes of movement can make a world of difference. Thank you so much for joining me today. And please remember to subscribe, share this episode with someone you love and care about. And I look forward to seeing you on the next episode.